Yo guys, what's going on? My name is Clutch Central and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on the new Ninja Air 58 final mouse that I just got yesterday. I was pretty stoked when I got this, but there's one thing I couldn't find online that really needed to be done and I'm going to be showing you guys that today. So as you guys can see, I decided to go with the red mouse here. It just looked a little cooler than the blue one. I could have got both, but I figured I don't really need to. Anyway guys, the one thing I did notice about this mouse is that it has two side buttons. However, these two were automatically programmed on mine. To be Q and T. Now those are different binds that I have for building in Fortnite, so I couldn't really program those to be my weapon slots, which are usually F1 and F F1 and F2. So today, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys how to reprogram these because unfortunately, Final Mouse did not send any instructions on how to do that, and I couldn't find any online. But not to worry, guys. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do that here today. The last thing I want to go ahead and show you guys is the only thing Final Mouse actually sent with the package, which is how to change the DPI. Alrighty guys, so the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to the site. I'm going to be linking it in the description as well too, but this is going to basically take you to a download page for a program called XMBC. All this program does is let you reprogram the buttons on your mouse if your mouse does not have a proprietary software to do so already like Razer and Logitech. The instructions that they give you are pretty broad, but I'm going to be showing you how to do it step by step. That way you won't mess up or anything. Alrighty guys, so once you download the program, which I actually already have here, go ahead and install it on your computer. It's a pretty quick install, it takes about a couple of seconds, but once it's done, go ahead and launch it. When you bring up the program guys, it's going to give you a screen that you probably won't recognize. So there's only a couple of things that we're going to be switching here. Now you have a lot of different options here guys, and depending on how many buttons your mouse has is going to depend on which one you're going to switch up. So I recommend clicking on any button that you're trying to change on the mouse because that'll help you detect it. So here you can see I'm clicking mouse button 4 and 5, which I already have binded to F1 and F2. So if you click on those, it's going to highlight them and you know those are the only ones you need to mess with. The other ones I don't recommend messing with unless you really want to change those because those are going to be like your left and right click. So once you find your mouse buttons that you're going to be switching, go ahead and select the drop down. You're going to select the simulated keys and then this is going to bring up a completely different thing for you depending on which key was already programmed. To. By the way, you're going to get the same screen here, but it's not going to say F2, it's probably going to say Q or T like mine did. Once you have this screen up, guys, all you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and basically do the same command that I did here, but you're going to put it under the enter the custom keys and also the description, that way you know which key this is going to be for. That way whenever you open this program and you want to bind something else, you can just open it up and it actually tells you right there which one you're changing. I pretty much just copied and pasted the F1 guys with this symbol here and the close symbol as well too. And once that's done, you just hit OK. You're going to do the same thing for the mouse button 5. And when you do that, it's going to bring the same thing up here. So if you wanted to switch it for the up arrow, for example, you just hit that, boom. And obviously you switch it in the description too. Hit OK and you'll see that it reprograms the mouse button for it to use that function instead of the one it was already set to by default. Once that's done, hit apply. I'm not going to do that because I already had them binded originally to my choosing. But once that's done, hit apply. And then from there, you're pretty much going to be good to go, guys. You'll notice that when you go to the game to change the binds on that particular game, it's going to go ahead and recognize those two buttons here. For the keys, you already reprogrammed them to originally on the keyboard. So in this case, F1 and F2 instead of the Q and T like it was when I first got it. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I am doing weekly giveaways. So every weekend I do every weekend I do select one subscriber and I basically give away V-Bucks since Fortnite is the game I most commonly play. I do put out videos pretty frequently. As you can see, I have four up, but I have a couple more coming, including this one. Anyway guys, peace.